Good morning. I'm Mara Antonoff. I'm a thoracic surgeon at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. I know we're all living through an unprecedented time, and there have been a lot of resources put out regarding how one can don protective equipment for taking care of patients with COVID. What about simple attire at home and how we need to dress going to and from work? This is a question that's been raised by a lot of people, and for me, it's really important not only to protect our vulnerable cancer patients at MD Anderson, but also to be certain that I'm protecting the people I care about most at home. As you can see, I'm very fortunate to have uh, four healthy children and a supportive spouse at home, and I wanna do everything I can to keep them safe and healthy at home. So for starters, what am I doing in terms of my attire? Typically, I would have worn professional dry clean only clothing to work. I have completely foregone that, uh, that, that uh, practice, and in fact, at our hospital, ties or um, neckties for men are not even allowed anymore at this point. So for me, I'm now wearing uh, commercially available scrubs, um, not the ones that belong to the hospital, but my own uh, personal commercially purchased scrubs that I put on at home. These are clean and sanitized at home, and I wear these just for the purpose of going to and from the hospital. Before I leave my house, I have a little bit of a process, and at my own house, I've set up a little bit of a decontamination area in our mudroom and garage. Now everyone's home is gonna be a little bit different and you'll have different options, but I just wanted to show you what I do. So here I am in my uh, clean, commercially available scrubs that belong to me that I'm using just for leaving the house. Then, as I'm getting ready to go, um, I head over to our mudroom and This is where I keep my work bag. Now this bag no longer goes to our, any patient care areas. This bag um, goes from our house to my office at work and um, not beyond my office at work. And I'm very careful to make sure that I separate my work office from patient care areas of the hospital, um, just to ensure that I'm minimizing any contamination of um, any areas from one to another. So I grab my bag and I slip on my shoes. These are not my OR clogs, but these are the clogs that I'm using just for the purpose of patient care outside the operating room and going to and from the hospital. And also, while I keep the majority of my white coats in my office at work, where they're separated from both patient care areas and from my home, I do have one extra backup white coat hanging in my garage, um, simply for the purpose of if I get called into an emergency and I have to go straight into the patient care areas, I don't wanna have that white coat in my area of my home where my family is exposed. This is what I'm doing at home to get out the door in the morning. I've arrived at work and I'm about to go through the screening process. I've parked my car and now I head over to one of the designated employee entrances where I will attest to whether or not I've been exposed to any particular risk factors for COVID. I'll scan my badge, sanitize my hands, have my temperature taken, and sanitize my hands again. I'm good, how are you? Good. I attest to everything on the sign. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, back again. Good to go, thank you. What's my temperature today? 98.2. Perfect, thank yeah. you. I've arrived at my office. Um, it's pretty empty around here since pretty much everyone who can work from home is doing so. Um, this is where I'm going to leave my bag and my personal attire. Anything that is gonna go back into my home is staying here in my office and uh, will not uh, enter the clinical realm of the hospital. All right, here I am in my office. I have changed out of my own scrubs that I brought from home into hospital issued scrubs. I picked these up from the machines in the hospital yesterday and stored them here in my office clean. And um, I'm now ready to face patients in the clinical part of the building. I'm done with my patient facing activities. So now I'm going to get another clean pair of hospital issued scrubs, which I will use exclusively for the purpose of leaving the patient care area and going back to my office. This is for the purpose of leaving um, any scrubs that came in contact with patients here on the clinical side of the hospital. Which is a 6.30 to 2.45. Uh -huh. The next week you do 2.45 to 10.45, then the next week you do 2.45. So what, Larissa told me? They just rotate and say she can get everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.
here I am back in my office. I am going to change out of my clean hospital scrubs that I just put on and brought into my office into my own personal scrubs that I plan to wear home and um, get myself back to my house. Here I am at home um, and just like you saw them this morning, I'm leaving my shoes outside the door in the garage and I am going to set down my bag here in the mudroom, make sure it doesn't come in contact with any other part of my house. And my plan is to go take off these scrubs that have been inside the hospital, put them straight into my laundry room, and hop in the shower. My scrubs are going to go in here and they're going to get washed in super hot water to get sanitized. I'm going to take a shower and put on clean clothes before I get anywhere near my family. Wash your hands.